Boker Tov, good morning. We continue with a three-minute daily dose of Dara. We started yesterday looking at the question of the uh, the conversation between Yaakov and the uh, other shepherds around this well. And they said, When he says, Why don't you just get some water? They say, We can't until everybody gathers. And yesterday we, we interpreted it to mean, Lonuchal, which means we're not allowed to take the water until everyone's here. Then we take off the rock from the well. And then Yaakov kind of ignores that. But the other interpretation, which you're perhaps more familiar with, is that, um, that, uh, that, we, that we're not able to, physically able to. There's a giant rock, and again, it was also there to protect the water from strangers. And indeed, they put such a heavy rock on it so that a stranger shouldn't be able to just come in and take water when no one's there. You need a bunch of hands on this to remove this rock, right? That's that's how I think most of us understand the interpretation of Lo Nuchal. Which then, now we're talking, when we talk about Vayigash Yaakov, Vayagel Ta'evin, Me'al Pi Ha'be'er, that Yaakov came and he just, uh, you know, popped off this, uh, he, he rolled it off. Now we have to say, well, how, did he, how was he able to do that? How, where did he get that capacity to do that? Um, and So much so that the Midrash says, It's like someone just pops off the uh, the little the cork inside a, a, a container or, you know, a, a bottle of wine. Um, like he just made it sound so simple. He may look so simple to do. And says the Rashba Meyaga to Evan Levado, he did this on his own. Lahodia Givurato Bakatu. The Torah comes to tell you, Givurato, that's how strong he was. That's how strong he was. I have to, when you read this, you can just kind of scratch your head. Because the last time we imagined what Yaakov was like, he was, he, he was not his brother. Asa was a big, burly guy, a hunter guy. He knows how to hunt. He's a man of the field. And Yaakov, Ishtam, Yosheva, Walim, and Yaakov was a um, was a, uh, a man of simple thing, a simple man, or a man of of, of uh, Tamimus, right? Who sits in the tent, and you have a sense of him being this pale, um, you know, Shiva Bacher guy. And um, who doesn't, you know, was kind of scrawny. That's, I mean, I mean, at least that's my image that I kind of have from those verses. So you come to this Pasuk and you say, whoa, <laughs> what does that mean? All these people say, we can't, they're, they're, these are all, you know, rough, rough people, or whatever. We can't do it until everybody shows up. And then he goes, boom, we can just take it off. So where does the Koach come from? I want you to think about that. How does he, where does the Gevura that he suddenly, that he seems to have here that we didn't expect, is that something he's always had? Or uh, does it come from somewhere else? So look at the verses if you can on your own. And maybe uh, tomorrow, tomorrow we will try to, uh, to solve that riddle together. Have a great day.